at NeptuneFGC. He's Jvard 1990 We read everything that you tweet at us. That's not just a filler statement. That's honest truth. Who are we getting into, Justin? Uh, Trico up against Emperor. Uh, Emperor, I, I think if I remember reading his Twitter correctly, he mentioned uh, maybe stepping away from the bird for a minute, uh, looking into some other characters. Uh, he did have a pretty scary DDD, one of the few. Uh, and in my eyes, probably the best DDD in our area. But now switching things up, uh, trying to pick up some different characters, it seems. I'm interested in seeing more character variety in this game, especially since uh, we just got away, just got done with the big show. So Bayonetta, a balanced Bayonetta, is a welcome sight. I think the big thing about this character was that she punished previously so much stuff that no other character in Smash could punish. Simply whiffing a move, like at half screen, could get punished by side B. And then the strings that could lead up afterwards are absolutely monstrous. Yeah, the, the, I think that she still has, uh, in my opinion, the best damage output in the game. Uh, even though her combo game has been nerfed pretty significantly, we're seeing players like Pinkfresh still putting in the work and still making some great strides overall. Yeah, I, I feel like it's at least much more obvious, though, for how you're supposed to survive playing against this character is the difference, right? Yeah. Uh, so now, with uh, some of those changes and the adaptation from players, we're going to see some changes. Now, keep in mind, with ZSS, Nair to jab strings, that's pretty safe. It's the quite So Nair to jab is safe, but the question is, if they continue to say extend off of jabs, it becomes unsafe. And it's whether or not you guess that they're going to press the button. Now, Ooh. that's a hard call out. There's the stop, and that's the finish. That is such a strong start for Trico here. And looking over at Emperor, remember that he used to play DDD. A big complaint among Bayonetta users is her neutral game, not necessarily the most polished. But when you go from playing freaking DDD, you'll take it. Like, that is such a nice upgrade. Absolutely. From a penguin to a mistress, we'll take that. Oh my gosh. So, with all oh, the witch time, caught the jab and is going to get a full punish here. Takes that stock and now is nursing the 28%. And trying to see if he can mitigate this with some quick strings off of those dive kicks. That's right, and already right back into the game. Tried to find a witch time there. There was no such attack from Trico. You're noticing that he's trying to slow things down a bit. He doesn't want to get caught by, by the unnecessary witch time. Instead, Ooh. this reactionary sort of style, he's waiting for his moment, and Put he the gets gun on him, though! God damn! <laughs> That's what I want to see. All of that from one exchange in neutral, caught him with the gun, flung him to the edge, and yet again, wiped your feet on him, Rick James style, and just sent this dude to the Shadow Realm. That's what I want to see. Let's go. The Rick James? The Rick James. We bring it back, dude. No couches in sight. No. None. That was his face. His Standing face was the couch. room only. <laughs> Nuts to butts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. That was such a good finish. And he did it twice. That's right. The first time overextending whenever he was trying to snap ledge. And the second, just straight up in neutral. Because he had built the percentage though is the reason why both those setups worked. Because the actions per minute required to mash out of stun are significantly higher and scale with the percent. Trico has just been playing this wonderfully. His, his punish game as well as the adaptations that he is making in neutral have allowed him to have such a commanding initial game. Can he maintain the momentum? Again, with some of these players who I've been known to main these larger characters, how good they are at reading the opponent is significantly higher, I feel, than most folks. Trico, oh! Um, was it because of the not denial that he put on with bullets? Because you have 50 frames after you get hit with an attack, what, even while you retain neutral state, before you can snap ledge again. He might have caught him towards the very end of that. It's certainly possible. Oh, he's definitely caught a bit too high there. Won't be sending his stock away to that next game, but will be taking about 30% of damage there. Mm. Problematic. That's right, you, you did see the witch time, but it, it didn't actually freeze Trico, primarily because it was off of a projectile. Right, meaning the next one that comes out is going to be less potent, thus giving him less time to confirm. But at these percentages, he could very well still do it with just simply a forward smash. Now it's at the edge. Ooh, and interesting changes from Trico. Instead of going straight for the down smash, trying to look for the Trump back air. Now going for the jab sequence. No, this is a problem. Oh, no! He had it. As soon as he snapped ledge, I imagined that ZSS was going to go out there, instant back air, and try to force 
a lack of tech against the wall. Oh, the wrong smash. I expected the up and goes for the F smash. Trico still hanging out to the stop. Whoa! But what kind of stage spike was that? He could have teched that too. He was on the ledge. Yeah, but the green flash showed up, so he could have teched it. But how? Who would expect how that? How do you expect that, Ness? Who would expect that? No one. Exactly. That's why it was so good. That was the rando. That was the rando sure you can. As he, you were about to die he in the corner. He basically did a Ganon-esque Tipman stage spike. Yeah. What? That was sick. That makes no sense. That was so good. No he one does that. And, I mean, you see people try doing similar things, but not from the angle that he was at. No one sitting at the brink of death is like, yo, dog, check me out. Check me out. I got these heels. No one does that. Most people are on stage and they, they run off and they go for instant ledge snap, jump off ledge back air, or they'll run off ledge immediately go for back air. No one does that, which is so sick. I, I want to see more of that. I like the gall, the audacity of Emperor. It feels good. It feels good. Because he's, he's playing a great character. You know, he can do those things. It's he can do those things. It's like, oh, wow. This is what it's like playing a, 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 a good character. This, this is game. what it's like playing not a penguin. <laughs> I like the penguin. I, I, I will say, like, like Emperor, back in the day known as D. Koopa Kid, he put on a clinic with that DDD. Oh. And now maybe starting to put on a clinic with this Bayonetta Follows as well. The DI, that's not going to be enough to take him off the top. The dive kick back is going to put you in a long state of recovery. Here's the follow-up. No, you're not going to fall into that up smash. Yeah, really smart usage of the flip kick, getting out of trouble. And now Trico, he's in an advantageous position. Ooh, the wave bounce into the shot. He, oh, that was so good. Bat within, into up air, takes him off the top. The reactions of a god. But Trico right back at it. Another brutal down smash near the ledge. And we're down to the last stocks in the final game of this series. This is the knockdown drag out that I want to see. Fireworks. And both guys are popping off right now. Are you going to take him off the top, homie? Are you oh! going to take him off the top? Set this dude to the moon. No flight back. Stay there. Show them the butchies, girl. Ooh, god damn <laughs> How you live it? <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I wasn't. I'm not sure if that was like Trico missing the di, or if that was just a brutal, brutal, perfectly executed punish that we saw from Emperor. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of both. Both of these guys had their punish games on point. I, I mean, it was it was demonstrated multiple times. Uh, whether it was the efficiency of the dive kick finishes, whether it was the uh, the ability to take people off at the top whether it was the stage spikes and the willingness to take unnecessary risks. <laughs> it made it fun to watch. It made it for a hell of a set. That's going on the highlight reel. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I'm getting uh, some flashbacks from this weekend with Mars and Pinkfresh. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. Can we dig this? Can we dig this replay? Look at this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, chasing the DI. These guys are blips. These he guys are little bubbles at the top. He counted them off the top with jabs. Or not in gems, but you know, like just the normal fair. aerials. The oh, fair. It was yeah, fair, yeah. Fair, yeah. God, dude. That was too sick. Oh, That was ridiculous, man. <laughs> and, you know, that's the thing. People people are so used to melee. They say, oh, the speed's not the same. Uh, you know, but the punishes, though. The, the punishes hands, man. are so good in this game. And it's it's cre it's very creative because you get to see, like, ah, uh, you... He's chasing the uh, the DI, and you kind of get that moment where you feel like everything's a lot more interactive. Whereas in Melee, a lot of the, the big punishes are on stage, right? Or it's close to stage. We're seeing punishes this high up arcs off the stage. Or the it's fact be that it's this low. It's awesome. One move, right? Is this, is this, is this the what one we're talking game? about? The single move? Is he going to try the Justin Wong? Okay, wow. so he's going to pull the Justin Wong of this set, which is Crouch Fierce. He hit him with the Ginyu Force. 18 times? Oh, this is bad. So y'all are about to be in for a treat. God. Uh, I'll go ahead. There's money on this? I'll go ahead and say right now. Oh, this is so Cosmos, good. We, Cosmos in the building. Really great treat for you corn fans. But here's how things get interesting. There's money on the line here that Cosmos can beat this player using just one move. Mm. So get your Twitter fingers out. Go ahead and spread the word. Twitch.tv slash turning locator. We're going to be seeing <laughs> Cosmos. <laughs> Dude, Go Jay Wong on some fool. Dude, this now for you guys that don't get that reference, go look up Excellent Adventures with Justin Wong. 